I'm gonna share with you a system in this video that's allowing me to improve my life, uh, make better use of my time, and without a whole lot more effort. And it's something that you might try as well. Um, and the system really is based on the fact that we all have hours during a day when our conscious mind doesn't have to be focused on a particular task or project. So maybe you're brushing your teeth your conscious mind is just wandering and thinking of random stuff and you're, you're commuting and you're just listening to kind of random radio uh, songs or whatever it may be. But a lot of hours, and for me, like walking to this dog park, I, I would just, you know, I could have been thinking about random stuff, but instead I'm, I'm using the system that I'm gonna show you, um, share with you here. And the system is called A+. It is an acronym, A-P-L-U-S. And I'll share with you what each letter means and I'll go more in depth in the notes of this video. A stands for appreciation. So you can be taking a moment when your conscious mind doesn't have to be focused on anything to just take a moment to be grateful, to consciously appreciate something in your life that maybe you take for granted. A relationship, uh, some aspect of your health, some aspect of your uh, experience or, or something in the world, your, um, some aspect of your work that you can really appreciate and be grateful for. And it makes such a difference, even if you just do this once a day, uh, it will make you a happier person and it'll make your relationships better over time. So that's A for appreciation. P stands for, to me, stands for prayer. For those of us who believe in prayer and the power it can have on others and ourselves, it is such a worthwhile thing to do. Now, if you don't believe in prayer, I just invite you to think of it as sending positive thoughts or having positive thoughts of somebody else, which will inevitably improve your relationship with that person just because you have more positive thoughts of that person. So, uh, but for, for prayer, you know, I, I, I pray for people that I know who are having a hard time in life um, and even people whom I don't like. You know, um, if that's a challenge and it's such a beautiful practice to, to consciously send them, send thoughts of well-being to them that may they uh, continue growing towards their, their truest happiness. May they be free of, of suffering because nobody, no being uh, really, you know, wants to suffer, you know, and, and every being really wants to do good in the world if they if they stop suffering. So anyway, prayer for, for others' well-being. And the L stands for learning. So learning is the next kind of thing you could do. And by the way, when I say this A-P-L-U-S, I don't mean that you have to do all five of these things in one sitting or one you know moment. You can pick one in that moment and then maybe the next day pick another one or the next time you're commuting, pick another one. So, so the L stands for learning. And this is basically, you could be listening to a useful podcast that helps you grow your knowledge and your skills in your career. Or you could be you know, listening to a YouTube video that's gonna build some personal interest that's, that's your hobby or something. But learning, L. U stands for upcoming. So this is where you start thinking about an upcoming task or event where you need to show up as um, your best self and the upcoming means that you visualize yourself um, being in that task or in that event uh, with however you want to show up, with grace, with ease, with happiness, with diligence, with joy, um, breathing. Visualize yourself doing that task or event in the way that you want. And it's so miraculous sometimes that when you do actually end up showing up at that event, you will have you will naturally be more of whatever you had visualized, okay? So U stands for upcoming task or event, visualizing how you wanna be. And then finally, S stands for solving a particular uh, problem or question or, or issue or challenge you have in your life or in your work. So sometimes I'll just be thinking of a particular client's challenge in their business and if I'm, you know, brushing my teeth or taking a shower or I'm you know, walking to this dog park, I could just kind of let that client's challenge be just kind of marinating in my mind and, and almost inevitably some new ideas, some different ideas will come that might actually be tremendously helpful for that client. And the same thing could be done with my business or any other challenge or problem. I want to just kind of let my mind wander around that particular question or topic. 
So APLUS, appreciation, prayer, learning, upcoming, and solving. I hope this is useful for you. Try this out, just any one letter when you're in your next commute or the next time you're kind of washing your dishes or something. And be using your mind more productively uh, instead of letting it wander towards thoughts that maybe you don't want to have. So I hope this is helpful and any questions and comments, always welcome it.